What's up? So for today's video, we partnered with the Ad Council and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration for their child car safety campaign to help parents learn how to properly buckle their children in their car and learn tips on installing your car, your children's car seats. So we've actually never done this before, except for when we go home from having our children. You, you know, at the hospitals, always always check to make sure that you're buckling in your newborn's car seat correctly. And but after that, we've never done it so we're gonna take all of the boys to our local fire station to make sure that we are doing everything properly so yeah we're gonna bring you guys along with us so you guys can see what we do hi Hello. hi welcome hi. I'm, I'm Corey I'm TJ. Nice, to meet you. nice to meet hi, you I'm Tiffany and this is Nova Jaden Chance and Carter Nice to meet you all. I'm so glad you're here today. Thanks. My name is Corey and I am a child passenger safety instructor and I'll be working with you today. We'll take a look at your car seats and how they're installed. We'll talk about some things if there are changes that need to be made and we want to make sure that you leave here today having the knowledge that you can make sure that they're installed correctly when you have to take them out the next time. So we'll make sure you have all that information so you're good to go in the future, okay? All right. Wonderful. Well, we'll head out to your vehicle then and take a look. Okay. Thank you. On, Thanks for coming, on, guys. guys. I want to take a look at your seat in the back. Okay. And that is for chance. chance. Okay. Yes. You did a great job of making sure that you're using the top tether strap. That's important because that's going to cut down on how far forward the head of the seat moves in a crash. And that's going to offer better protection for your kids. So great job on that. You also did a really good job in that you found the right tether anchor. Finding that attachment there is going to be key to making sure that the seat doesn't move as far forward as it possibly could and offering that better protection. So very good. If you're not sure and you can't find that anchor picture, looking at your vehicle's owner's manual under child restraints is going to tell you where those tether hooks are. And that's important to always refer back to the owner's manual. Okay. So we'll take this one out now and then we'll take a look at it, see how he's fitting in the seat itself and what adjustments we may need to make to Okay. okay. All right, well, we'll take a look over here for a minute. So there's some key pieces to know about your car seat. And again, as we've talked about, there's some great stickers on the side of the seat, um, both sides that are gonna give you good information. And um, important to always look at that. It's also going to give you information about the size of the child that should be in this seat based on their height and their weight. So that's a great thing. So you wanna make sure you're doing that, looking at the instruction manual for your child safety seat also. So right now, what I think we need to do, can you help me? Can you help me, Carter? I'm gonna put this down. Oh, you're a good helper. Show me how you sit in your seat, please. So what we want is when he's sitting forward, we want these straps to come in right at the level of the shoulders or just above. And we can make that change by sliding it up. And you can see now we're getting it right at the level of his shoulders, or it can be just slightly above. We also want this clip, we want this to be at his armpit level. Okay. Now this being twisted, we need to fix that because again, we don't want straps twisted. So we're gonna have to make that adjustment. So why don't you hop out for me? We're gonna make a few changes. You've done a great job. Good job, buddy. Good job. So as we talked about, we need to make some adjustments here because the strap is twisted and we'll do that. Making sure it's snug. You don't want to be able to pinch any of the webbing here. So you want to make sure that you've tightened it down and then you're not able to pinch any of the webbing up. Okay. And also not moving to the next stage uh, too quickly. So he can be in this harness system until he is 70 pounds. So it's really important he's gonna have the best protection being in this harness system versus moving on to a booster seat mode too quickly. Okay, so I think right now we ought to take a look at your other son in his booster seat. Okay, Jaden. So 
So with Jaden, as you can see, his head is getting higher up than the head restraint portion here. And then that was when we were looking at him in the vehicle, the um, shoulder strap was coming in too low. So what we need to do is we need to move this up and there's a way to do it. Can I actually get you to hop up for just a minute and we'll make your seat adjustment. So you have a handle here, you squeeze and it will raise up. Okay, let's see if that took care of it for you, buddy. There we go, getting more comfortable. Now see, we've got this at the appropriate level at his shoulder. So you wanna make sure that it's close there, but still gonna bring that shoulder belt across his shoulder and across the center of his chest. Does that make sense? All right, how's that feel? Feel better with it up behind your head? Okay, I'm gonna let you hop up. There you go. So then when we put him in the car, we'll feed the shoulder belt through the red guide here. It'll come across the center of his chest. And again, remember both the lap and the shoulder belt are gonna come under okay. the arm, okay. not over top of it as he had it. Okay. So one thing, I know that your son is getting older and growing and getting taller. And if he's not already asking, many kids quickly begin asking when they can ride in the front seat of the vehicle. Vehicles are great, having lots of new technology to help protect us all, but children aren't as well able to withstand some of the crash forces in the front seat. So it's important that they stay in the back seat of the vehicle until they turn 13. When would it be okay for us to take the back off and for him to only be in the, just the booster? So it's important to always look at the instruction manual for the seat and follow the guidelines. It's based on height and weight as to when you can use it as a high back booster or use it as a no back booster. Okay. So following those guidelines of the instruction manual is important. So dad, if you don't mind bringing the vehicle in and then we can work together to make sure that they're installed correctly in the vehicle. Okay. Great, right. thanks. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We learned a lot about installing our children properly into the right car seats. And if you guys need um, help on how to install your kids properly into their seats, you can check out nhtsa.gov slash the right seat. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and we'll see you guys in our next one. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.